Well, George talked me into it. <laughs> I did the tree. But what I did was I didn't put up our fake tree. I went and bought this tiny little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It it talked to me and it said, take me home. It said, we want to have Christmas. We want to have Christmas. <laughs> so... Yeah, so we had, and the funny thing is, I couldn't find any of my Christmas balls. So, I found what I could and just put it all up. George's football. <laughs> and then we have, like, all these little footballs all around. Because nothing says Christmas like football. Yeah. <laughs> Our butterflies. Our other butterflies. And then we have our partridges in a pear tree. <laughs> I a partridge suppose. in a bear tree. <laughs> and then I have a, um, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see it. But anyways, it's got Diesel's name on it. It's his first Christmas ornament. So, yeah. So, we've got all of that and then our angel on top and then I've got all my Christmas stuff over here of course football's playing the Patriots the, the, yeah Christmas George's Patriots. George's Patriots are playing these are my um, Christmas carols car carolers that my mom made years ago and it represents my sisters and me and our kids and my mom made them with dish scrubbies for hair. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So those are very cherished. And this angel was at my doorstep the day my mom died. I don't know where it came from, but I opened the door and it was sitting on the floor. So, yeah, that means a lot too. And then we've got my Christmas boot. There's a story behind this. When I was a little kid, my mom had these plastic boots that looked exactly like this. And I used to walk around in them. <laughs> she had them for me and my sister, and she put candies and oranges and stuff like that in them. And uh, I used to walk around in them thinking that they were real boots. I found this a couple of years back and I had to get it. Because it just reminded me of my childhood. So, there you have it. Sandy's doing Christmas. Yay! Everybody say yay! <laughs> Collective yay! Yay! <laughs> Apparently Bailey's exhausted from doing the Christmas tree. Run, run, Bailey. baby, run! Go, go, go! And there's George. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, um, today is the day that we are going to Victoria to stay in a hotel room. And, wow, it's good. Ooh, what's up with my hair? <laughs> um, and we're going to get ready for tomorrow. Uh, my surgery is at 10... Or I have to be at the hospital at 10.15 in the morning uh, Pacific time. And I'm not entirely sure when my surgery is. If it's like an hour later or what. But I'm sure that I will probably be finished before by 12 o'clock. Um, they said I'm going to be in the hospital for about four or five hours. <sighs> so, am I nervous? Mm, no. Am I scared? Hell yeah. Yeah, I, stupid me, I decided this morning to go check out a video on the surgery. Not 
a smart thing to do. I didn't actually watch the video. I just saw the thumbnail and that was enough for me. So I thought, yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so I just have a couple of things. Um, I'm going to be videotaping throughout the whole thing. Uh, I'll videotape on the way down uh, in the hotel room. I'll try and get some video of me at the hospital and some of me after, depending on how I am. <laughs> Sorry, the sun's kind of coming in a little bit. My lighting, of course, sucks. But I have a, a um, circle ring light coming. Hopefully I'll get that today. Not that it matters because I won't be able to use it for a little while. Um. Anyway, uh, what else? Oh, I have a new friend. I saw this guy at the grocery store yesterday. No, day before um, when I went to pick up our Christmas tree. And I had to buy it. Um, I saw it and I was like, oh, and then I touched it. And I almost started to cry in the, gro the middle of the grocery store because the fur feels like Odie. So it's like really squishy fur. And when Odie's hair was long, this is what she felt like after a bath. So, yeah. But anyways, isn't he cute? <laughs> Oh, it's so adorable. So I had to buy him. So I'm going to put him in my decor somewhere. Also, at the last craft fair that we were at, there was a lady there that made chain mail stuff. And her daughter, I think it was, or her niece, I can't remember which, she made these adorable bees. They, they're felted. And she does it for charity. Isn't that cute? So adorable. So I ended up buying a couple of them. She only had like a few of them. So I bought three. And I thought those are perfect for yarn bees. Because, well, they're made out of yarn and they're bees, right? Ah! <laughs> So anyway, so I'm going to put those in some giveaways, um, one of which will be my thousand subscriber giveaway when I get there. I'm hoping to get to a thousand before by New Year's. Ugh, here's hoping. Um, I also got, I thought this was absolutely stunning. She had them in different colors. They're made out of metal. Uh, yeah. And they're flowers. But the thing about it, I don't know if you can see it right on here. And there's like a couple of the petals. Oh, is that it? It's the Celtic knot. Me being of Irish descent, I thought it was perfect. Now, the best part about this is it's magnetic and it's got a strong, strong magnet. See? Ooh. See that? And so you can put that on anything and it will magnet, magnet, it will attach itself with a magnet. <laughs> uh, so I'm planning on putting it on a hat. Um, not sure which one yet. But I just absolutely love this. Her company is called Aphrodite's Armor. And she is in on the Vancouver Island. 
and her website if you want to go and check her stuff out it's um a a r m o u r dot fashion but she spells fashion different so i'm seeing that right hmm she spells it f oh okay wait a minute nope that's maybe i don't even know what that is it must be a type of dot com company but it's f is in frank a l c h i o n dot com oh can you see that i don't know if you can see that oh maybe there you go so i'll put that link down below but I just thought that this was adorable. She has amazing stuff. Like she is really good at her craft. Oh, I got water in my ear. Ah. Um, she's amazing at her craft. She really is. I also bought a lanyard for my glasses. Yes. I am now over that hump of being of age. <laughs> So, yes, I bought a lanyard. I'll show that to you another time. I totally forgot it in the other room. But, anyway, so I wanted to show you that. Also, this is my newest cowl. And, oh, it is beautiful it has this the ribbing all the way through it absolutely stunning um i love this ooh, i love this pattern i really do i think it's really neat I just oh it's so pretty so uh, yeah it's very nice um I may or may not put this in a giveaway <gasps> what? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I'm feeling better oh maybe I should dress her because she's looking a little naked <laughs> Um, so I don't know when I will do it, but I will do it. Whoops. Sorry. Knocked your head. Um, when, ow, when I feel better, then I will do that. Uh, also, I'm so happy to see some videos of people that are getting my gifts and cards and whatnot. And Granny D was asking me, how many of these little angels I made? I made probably 20. Oh, excuse me. Um, they are really cute and really easy to make. And they, they all of a sudden become a bit addictive. So um, the yarn, she wanted to know what yarn it was I used as well. And I used Starlight? I want to say it's Starlight. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'll put the link down below. I'll put it down here and then I'll put it down below. I believe I got it from Hobie. Um, but it was really pretty sparkle yarn and I just thought that it was really cool. I put two colors together um, and then just mixed it and they came out really cute. I didn't want to do the, the traditional angels, the white angels. I wanted to do something a little bit different. 
So I think they turned out really well. So anyways, so that's all I have for you right now. Uh, I'm all set up. I, I tried my new toilet seat for the first time. It's actually, I don't know where it's been all my life, really. Because <laughs> it's so easy. It's a four inch. So it's like you just kind of just let yourself sit a little bit. And then it, you're like up already, halfway up. Not even halfway up. Just like, it was weird. It was like, wow, that is so much easier. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways. um, Okay, so I think that's it. And I will, the next video will be of our trip and stuff. So wish me luck. I am so scared, you guys. I really am. Oh, okay. I'm going to go. I love you all. Thank you all for your well wishes and your prayers. It means so much to me. And I, I, I need them. So... So thank you so much. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. I almost forgot. <laughs> I made a Santa hat. This is my new pattern that I've been rushing to try and get done before I go in for surgery. And I did it last night. So... Here it is. Um, I am going to, I won't be able to get the pattern up until later, but um, I'm going to send it to a couple of pattern testers. So, um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. It's pretty easy to do. This is not a front post, back post like you might think. It's actually the feather stitch. And I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Yes, it's called the feather stitch. Now, I did do the directions on the pattern. Um, they may seem a little confusing, but I am going to add pictures to it. And I may end up doing a, tutor a video tutorial when I'm feeling better of how to do the feather stitch. Okay, it's not hard. Once you get, the, get used to it, it's not hard at all. Okay, so keep a lookout for this. I'm hoping I got to get it out before Christmas. That's for sure. So it's going to be out probably within hopefully the next week. Uh, and then you guys can can get your your Santa hat on <laughs> okay talk to you later bye I should put a bell on this <laughs>